Welcome back to Max Life Out Van Talk. In the last video, uh, I talked about the planning stage, getting ready, deciding what you were going to do with your van, and making sure that you were making the right choice, and then the importance of planning. Well, I hope you went through some of that, and you're still going through it, I'm sure. In this video, we're going to talk about step one, stage one, phase one, whatever you want to call it. What do you do next? You've done your planning, you've done your design, everything's ready. Well, okay, we're going to talk a little bit about planning as well in this one as well. I'm going to combine a bit the two together. We're going to talk about cutting holes in your van. Scary conversation. And you figured out the windows that you need, the vents that you need, the air conditioning, all the things that need to be added to the van. Well, guess what? Now you've got to put them in. And that means cutting holes in your brand new or brand new to you van. That was a really scary and uh, daunting prospect for me. But that is the next stage. And why is it important to do it at this stage? Well, very simply, you've got nothing in the van yet. You've got a completely empty van. Uh, if you've got a cargo van and you bought it as a cargo van, there's no insulation in, there's no wall liners in. Now, if you bought a crew van or you bought a van that's already built, then yes, you do. You have to go about taking all the bits and pieces out before you can get started. But if it's a fresh build, then the first thing for you to think about is what holes do you need? So what does cutting holes in your van mean? Well, you have to cut the holes for the windows. You have to cut the holes for the vents. And those holes are going to depend upon what you're going to put where. In the planning process, I thought long and hard about what windows and vents we were going to need in the van. I did look at having a window in the sliding door, a window in the side over here, windows in the back doors, and maybe even two of the little long windows over the bed areas. We threw ideas backwards and forwards, really important in the planning stage, and remembering that every one of these is a prototype. But it's also important that it meets your needs and that you can apply some best practices. How did we think about that? So when we were planning the windows and the vents, I really thought back to how we used our VW camper. And one of the things that came out of that was every time we got to a campsite, we would tend to pull the curtains both at the sides and the rear, and they would stay closed. So based on that, I thought to myself, hey, you know, what's the point of having a window? And one thing to consider when you have windows is windows are a source of both heat and cold. That's heat loss and cold entry. So losing a window can actually be a good thing. Not only does it make the van look a little bit more stealth, but you also have more storage available to you and you can put more things there. So for us, we decided that we would go with just one window. Then when you're thinking about the vents, you have lots of options. You have air conditioners to think about, you have vents to think about, you have the type of vent to think about. And then the location. For us, we decided that we would put our vent at the back. And the decision for the vent at the back was so that we could crack a window at the front and have air flow through the van when we were venting. We have a cooker in front of us, so the way that this works for us is we open our side window, when we've got the cooker going and we turn on the vent and the air flows through as the vent is sucking up and we can clear the uh, inside of the van. We could have gone with a vent at the front and we may actually do that at some time in the future. The other choice for me to put the vent at the back was well, it was the most difficult location to install. To recap, think about where you're going to need to put holes in your van. Think about what the holes are for windows, vents, and then that's the very next thing that you're going to start with. You're going to get out there, you're going to roll your sleeves up, and you're going to cut holes in your van. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to talk about how I installed both the window and the vent, the tools I used, the issues I came across, the mistakes I made, and hopefully give you a little bit more of a deeper guidance as well as some of the resources I used. Well, I hope you found this interesting. Please feel free to leave comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to get more of these videos, then please hit the subscribe button. Until next time, 
I hope the planning is going well. If you're out camping, have a blast. We'll look forward to seeing you on the road. And until then, Max Life out.